Ben Lichtenstein at TradersAudio.com joins us now. And Ben, good morning. Will we continue to feel the Syria effect in the market today? Well, I think so. If you look at yesterday's activity, the market tried to get a little bit of a bid going throughout the day session trade, but then right around that middle of the day, 1.30 central time roughly, we started to sell off a little bit, unable to get into new low prints. Don't get me wrong, it wasn't that weak, but really just unable to hold the rally, if you will. And for the most part, what I've been noticing in terms of this downside act activity that we've been seeing off that 1700 level in the S&Ps is just very little rejection of these lower levels. What we had been seeing on that slow, steady grind higher was every little bit of a retracement, every pullback was met with strong buy side activity. And we're just not really seeing that right now. I think that's the fear factor at play. What about oil? Where are the highs oh, here? Talk about fear factor at play. Um, 112 yesterday in the overnight leading into yesterday morning's trade. Um, didn't quite get up there during the day session trade yesterday, but certainly the 110 level is scary as it is. At this point, though, it's anyone's guess how far, how high this market could go. Um, the market's basically vertical to the upside, which means it's seeking value. Any statement, any comments at the wrong time from the right person could send that market screaming higher. Obviously, geopolitical concerns at play there. Traders love to buy on the rumor. What would you buy? Well, I actually think that as long as this market holds up above that 1600 level, it's still a buy. Until we get some sort of word that we're seeing some significant tapering, we're seeing the lack of QE, t QE activity, I think that the market's still bid, and I think you have to give the benefit of the doubt to the bulls. Thanks, Ben. My pleasure.